nature hike? It's actually not that bad. Hey everyone, Steven here on My Live Outdoors. So backpacking gear can get really expensive. And I constantly have people asking me if I can recommend some more affordable alternatives to some of the expensive gear that I own. With that in mind, I've been looking at some affordable gear that anyone can afford, but not just afford, gear that you can also trust. And that's when I came across Nature Hike and the Cloud Up 2. And I reached out to them to see if they would send me one of their tents to review and to test to see if it could actually hold up to the type of backpacking that I like to do. So starting with the pros, here are the Nature Hike Cloud Up two-person backpacking tent pros and cons. Price. Pro number one is the price. I mean, the whole reason why I'm looking at this tent is because it's affordable at $165 for the two-person version. Now, $165 is affordable, but it's not as affordable as I originally expected. When I first reached out to Nature Hike, I thought that this tent was only $120, and honestly, if this tent had been $120, it would be an incredible deal for the weight, the features, and the quality but this isn't a $120 tent, it's a $165 tent, which isn't bad, but it's not as good of a deal. There are other brands selling high quality tents for not much more than that. So even though I believe this is a good price for what you get, it's not the amazing price that I originally thought. Wait. Now, one of the places this tent really shines is its weight. Generally, the less a tent weighs, the more that it costs. But this tent is fairly lightweight at 3.4 pounds. Now, it's hard to find backpacking tents, especially affordable tents, that weigh less than four pounds. So even though there are more reputable companies making tents at this price point, those tents are not at this weight. So weight to price ratio, it's hard to beat this tent. Rain. But can the cloud up perform? I mean, weight to price ratio is great, but it doesn't matter if it can't perform. And so one of the main areas that I want a tent to be able to perform in is the rain. One of the very first things I did when I got this tent was I went to look and see if the seams were taped. Because if the seams are not taped, then there's very little chance that it's going to stay dry. And I was surprised to see that they are taped, which is a really good sign. But I still didn't feel like I could recommend it without a solid rain test. So from the moment that I got it, the first thing I did was I set it up and waited for a really good rainstorm. And since I first opened it, I can tell you with a fair amount of certainty, including right now as I film this video, this thing is not going to leak. Footprint. Now, one of the things that really adds value to the cloud up is that it comes with a footprint. Most tents you buy are not going to come with a footprint and will cost you an extra $30 or $60 or more to buy a footprint. Now, do you need a footprint? No, you really don't. I've actually never used a footprint on any tent that I've owned over the last 10 to 12 years. I just don't want to carry the extra weight. And I've never had a problem. But footprints do add life to your tents and they help prevent sharp rocks and sticks and other things from sticking up to the floor of your tent. So if you're the kind of person that likes the added security of a footprint, this adds even more value to the cloud up. Now, one benefit I do see with a footprint is that you can set the tent up in a fly-only configuration, where basically you leave the mesh tent at home and you just take the footprint, the poles, and the fly, basically setting it up like a tarp which I've always been interested in because if you know you're not going to be dealing with bugs, then you can really save some weight. In fact, with the fly-only configuration, the cloud up is only 2.8 pounds. Okay, so there are the things that really impressed me about the cloud up, but now it's time to talk about some cons. Four seasons. Probably the biggest con on this list is the fact that Nature Hike advertises this as a four season tent, and it really just isn't. There is no way with all the mesh that is on this thing that this is a true four season tent. And I'm not the only one that has pointed this out. I really feel like Nature Hike needs to listen to these reviews and just take that off of their website. Quality control. Second on my cons list is poor quality control. Most of the seams seem to be adequately sewn, but there was one really big thread hanging off the front of the fly. It doesn't seem to be affecting the integrity of the seam, but it could easily get snagged and cause a failure at that seam. I'll probably just end up trimming it myself, but I feel like this is evidence of poor quality control. So one of the things I noticed about the cloud up is how droopy the walls feel, which I feel like with just one small change in design, they could really help this a lot. They have two small connecting clips at the bottom of the fly that help hold the floor open. And it would be really easy to just add one more clip about halfway up where you could use the guidelines to really help hold the walls out. Last on the cons list are two things that, that really aren't deal breakers, but could still be better. 
The stakes are really small. They still seem to work adequately, but it would be really nice if they just were a little bit bigger. And the other thing is there are no mesh pockets on the inside except for one in the roof. And I find these mesh pockets to be actually really helpful to keep my glasses in so that I don't step on them or other things that I don't want to get broken or lost on the floor of the tent. The pocket is just a really good option for that. And the pocket on the roof is good for putting a headlamp in to give you a little bit more light, but I don't really like putting other stuff in there because I feel like it's going to fall out. Okay, so that is my list of pros and cons for the Cloud Up 2. All in all, I think this is a really good option at a reasonable price. If you are on a budget and you're looking for a decent tent that will keep you dry without breaking the bank, then I think the Cloud Up 2 is a really great option. But what about you? Would you buy this tent? I'd love to hear what you think about it and what you like and what you don't like about it. Drop me a comment and let me know what you think. I love reading and responding to comments, so drop me one and let's talk. If you made it this far, that means you probably like this video, so go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at MyLifeOutdoors. And as always, thanks for watching.